Hey guys, so I wanted to make a quick video about uh, something I got to do this week that was really cool for me. Lately I've been working in vMix and recently I found out that with vMix I can use VST3 plugins. So things like the RX7 suite or the Fab Filter effects and I got an opportunity to actually try that out this week. So I had a video that came in that was recorded via Zoom which Zoom will do a couple things if you're not using it with headphones. It'll try to combat the sound coming back out of uh, speakers as well as room noise and compensate for all that, which ends up uh, giving you a, a vocal recording that sends tinny, you lose a lot of your bottoms, your low end. So I, have, I got a video like that and it was some pretty important content. So I wanted to see if I could break back some body and some life to the recording. So I'm gonna play you guys a sample of what it sounded like so that you can hear what we were working with. And then I'm gonna play some samples with uh, turning on these effects and seeing what I can do with it. So this is the video here. Uh, and I'm gonna open up, uh, actually I'll play back a sample of the video first so you can hear some of the speech. This was the year that I really wanted to bring my son and daughter and say, look, those are the guys. Those are the guys I told you about. Those are the guys you're going to read about. And these are the families that helped him get through. So right off the bat, um, you can hear that I'm missing a lot of the, the lower end of his voice, as well as uh, it's kind of quiet, quieter than I'd like it to be. And in parts of it, when he gets uh, more enunciative, it, it really pushes past whatever the threshold is of the ducker. So I get really weird dynamics. So the first thing I did is going into the settings uh, under audio settings right here under the plugins tab. I have fab filter pro Q3 and C2 working, which is really great. Um, I'm going to open up uh, pro Q3 first and check mark that. So here you can see the shape of uh, what I'm adding to his EQ. And in a second, when I hit play, you're going to see um, some EQ shapes over here that are going to show what's happening incoming and outgoing uh, from his audio. So here we go. Um, this is a particularly poignant moment to meet with an Indianapolis families, the men that served. And it's not just because it's the 75th anniversary though that's significant. This has been a hard year for our country, the whole, the whole world has had a difficult year. I'm gonna and I think now that's so hear the difference. Heroes. I think the Indianapolis crew is significant though, in this particular moment. Right now I'm hearing a lot of people say, I can't do it. I, I can't, I, I can't fix this. So that brought back a lot of body to his voice, but now we still hear that there's a huge volume difference between his quiet moments and his loud ones. So. I brought in a uh, Fab Filter Pro C2, which is a nice uh, compressor plugin. And I gave it a little bit more of an aggressive compression to kind of hush down those excited moments while actually, uh, while also giving it some uh, makeup gain to make up for the quieter moments so that we kind of squeeze everything into more level, consistent volume area across the board. So let's take a listen to that first off and then I'll turn it on. I can't get through what's going on, not for my me, not for my family. I think we think of heroes as people that deal in impossibilities. And the sailors and Marines on the USS Indianapolis didn't deal in the impossible. They dealt, dealt with what was possible. You they showed us what we can uh, do, compressing what Americans can do. Those need, peaks. Need, and over here we can deep. see where it's given a little and bit of a find what it is here. that keeps that fire in your belly. So this is the year I wanted to be able to look everyone in the face and say thank you for being the kind of heroes we need in difficult times not in the past not 75 years ago but now in 2020. And that's what the so today i wanted to read a letter share a letter with you from mrs peggy ott from captain charles mcveigh this is october 3rd 1945 my dear mrs ott it is with great sorrow that i as commanding officer of the uss indianapolis write to you concerning your husband theodore gene 
Yeoman First Class, United States Navy, who lost his life as a result of the sinking of the Indianapolis in the early morning hours of July 30th, 1945. The Indianapolis was en route to the Philippines from Guam after a run which set a new speed record from San Francisco. So yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys how I was able to bring back a whole lot of body and person yeah, personality back to uh, this this uh, dialogue video. I hope you guys find this helpful, and I hope you guys get a chance to try it out yourselves.